a love story and a legal drama at once. Welcome back to Smash Rama, and today we will look at the debut of a small detail on the Pac-Land stage. For starters, this game was an unofficial sequel to the original. Its bootleg status prevented it from being released outside of North America, but that didn't stop it from becoming one of the pinnacles of the golden age of video games. Developed in 82 by GCC in collaboration with Midway, GCC had a giant name for themselves making ROM hacks for arcade games, and Midway was still waiting on the sequel to Pac-Man, so they hired GCC to help make it themselves. I will say the gameplay of this is refined to a T. Everything that worked in the original improved in some way. It was reused as a staple of Namco, but then in 2001, Namco re released it in an arcade cabinet, something they were contractually bound not to do. This led to a complicated lawsuit until Hong Kong investment firm Atkins bought it out. This happens about a year after Smash Ultimate, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, the issues aside, I give this 